Hey guys, this is Josh. So let's um, let's really get into what it's like to own an electric car. Um, I have the 2015 Nissan Leaf, and uh, let's see if we can uh, see what it's like for a day and see uh, if I really worry about uh, range or anything like that. Um, I've had the car for about a month and a half, and um, it's really done me well. I'm just to and from work to the beach, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna check around on town, see where the chargers are, see what it's like, see how long it takes. Uh, Alright, so right off the bat in the car, um, I'm not fully charged, but I have about probably 90% of battery and I have 92 miles that it says I'll average that I'll get. Um, so I've noticed that about if you stick around 35 to 45 miles an hour then you almost don't use much energy at all because of the metering on the front if that dot in the center uh, if it goes to the right then we are using energy but if it goes to the left like right now then we're regenerating energy so um, at about 35 to 45 you can keep that dot almost almost in the center if you're on a pretty flat surface um, so you can go really far like we drove about an hour and a half two hours from where I bought the car and really never even had an issue we had about a third of battery left and, uh, this is we just stopped at a little restaurant on the beach and charged up there didn't have an issue getting home at all so, today I'm going to take a trip over to Pensacola Beach um, see what it shows me so let's set we're at 91 miles here let's set our trip to zero and see what it does for us all right so we're at the lovely Pensacola Beach just hitting the pier or the bridge <laughs> So it's a uh, about maybe a thirty-minute drive, um, thirty-five minutes, and uh, we'll see when we get to the location what uh, what actual usage we have on our battery. So I'm on the beach and. I guess looking at it, uh, we re re reset our timer earlier yeah, to zero miles, and um, we have gone 18.2 miles currently, and uh, only used about 12, 13 miles, what the battery would say. So um, you can regenerate a lot of battery, even just if you're driving in town. Um, get a good 30% difference than even what you think you would get um, so in my opinion like this is you know amazingly you know efficient an efficient way to drive um, some people have a lot of questions about charging how long does it take to charge all these different things well you know there's it's really not that bad like that the 110 charger that comes with the car um, it usually can take you know eight hours to charge overnight sometimes a little bit more but um, I had a level two charger installed and it can charge the car in two hours um, they say it only charged up to 80% in two hours from start to finish but I haven't had that experience at all um, and then also um, there's a level three charger that they just got installed downtown um, here in Pensacola it's a uh, it can charge the car, they say in 30 minutes or less, um, up to 80%, and it actually, in, in my opinion, charges a lot faster than that. I tried it a few times, and, but I really haven't even needed to use it. I've, I've just been really happy with uh, even the 110 charger, the you know one that comes with the car, and then the level 2 charger on the days that um, I might, you know, need some extra length or you know doing multiple activities um, such as this today like I'm gonna go surfing for a little bit with a, with a, with a buddy of mine 
out here at the beach, and then I'm gonna go home, and Emily is gonna, Emily, and my wife, she's gonna, uh, you know, have some girl time, and probably drive back out here again. So, so definitely worth the buy. It's worth the buy because people think, oh, they're so expensive. These cars are so expensive to own, and uh, they're really not. Now, if you buy one brand new, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Like this car, I think is like 36,000, 38,000 brand new in 2015. But if, like, I bought it, you know, this is a uh, 2017. I bought it about a month and a half ago, uh, February, you know, time, and it's it's crazy. I bought it for nine thousand dollars, you know. And it just doesn't make any sense, you know. Why is that cheap? Like you think something's got to be wrong with it, but it's not. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just like technology. When the next iPhone comes out, uh, you you see that those other iPhones, you know, they drop in price pretty quick. Um, one of the biggest pluses I've noticed with the Nissan Leaf um, or any electric car that I've heard of is that there's no oil changes or you know any maintenance to the car whatsoever. Besides like uh, tires, brakes. Maybe some brake fluid and like Freon. Oh, and coolant. It does take coolant. But, uh, I'm just saying, man, you can't beat it. You can't beat it at all. Alright, so I was uh, headed back into town and I figured uh, that I'd show you the level 3 charger in town in Pensacola and uh, kind of show you what it looks like. Um, it's funny, I, I pulled up here one night and uh, one of the security guards didn't really know much about electric vehicles and uh, he came over to me and he's like why are you plugged into the ATM I'm like uh, no this is this is a car charger so uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny a lot of people are not very educated on these things because they're still kind of you know coming through with some things but uh, let's go check it out So what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll unplug the front. So there's two chargers in here. You got your home charger, and then you got your fast charger. So this is the one we're going to plug into right here. Let's push start. Add a move. That's it. Have a free charger. You can run your AC and sit in the car and chill while it's doing its thing. And uh, 30 minutes, your car will be completely charged up from start to finish. But mine doesn't usually take quite that long because it's uh, not as large of a battery as like a Tesla or something. Some people worry about the uh, like the top speed. They say, are they slow? Or are they? Are they fast or you know what's what's the deal with that? And uh, so I'm hopping on the interstate and uh, I'll show you that it drives like any other car. I think the top speed is like you know 90 miles an hour or something like that. But uh, let's see, let's see what it does. We're at 59. Let's get, see if we can get around this truck. Got back home from beach now and let's check out the home charger see what it all has to offer let's see should be good and charged for the wife to take it out in a few minutes that's it simple as that Keep it simple.